Chapter 6.1, exercise 21 to 28, page 511. This is our section on vectors, and this of exercises relates to unit vectors. And unit vector is a vector that has a magnitude of 1 in a given direction of the original vector. And so let's go ahead and make a little sketch of this vector. We have vector u equals negative 2 comma 4, and drawing a little xy coordinate plane we have negative 2 comma 1 2 3 4 so about right here is negative 2 comma 4 and that's a vector I drew it in coordinate pair notation so there's our vector and this is vector u Okay, which is in brackets negative two comma four. All right, to find out what the unit vector is, there's a hint. Okay, find a unit vector. The unit vector <coughs> is simply going to be okay. Unit vector. All it's going to be is cosine of the vector times time. That's just cosine and sine. That's all, all it is. So to find that out, we have adjacent. equals negative 2 and opposite equals 4 and our hypotenuse is the hypotenuse we use the Pythagorean theorem that is going to be negative 2 squared plus 4 squared, which equals square root of 4 plus 16, which equals square root of 20. So our unit vector unit vector of u is simply we're going to make a vector notation. The cosine is going to be opposite over hypotenuse. Negative 2 over square root of 20. And the sine is going to be uh, opposite over hypotenuse. So you have adjacent over hypotenuse is the x and opposite over hypotenuse is the y. And we can test to see if we have a unit vector by squaring this to see if we want well, a unit vector. The magnitude of this unit vector is 1, right? So going back to a calculator, if we go to control x squared, we want to get a parentheses. We have our cosine is, let me get the, uh, let's see. I wanted to get something else first. Let me go back like this. I want a parentheses. Okay, control. We're going to have negative 2 over the square root of 20. And we're going to square on the outside of that. Plus, we have parentheses. We'll get a division bar here. Control, division. We're going to have 4, which is our 4 over square root of 20. It's our sine. 
So here we go, 20. And we square that on the outside. And we should have one. Yes, we get one. So this is indeed our unit vector, uh, unit vector of, of u. In the same direction as this original vector, but with a magnitude of 1. 23. W equals negative i minus 2j. Okay, this has to do with our stand, i has to do, i equals standard unit vector. And that is equals 1 comma 0. Okay, that's I. J is our other standard unit vector. It's the vector zero comma one. So what we have for W, W is equal to negative I, that's this vector here, and J equals Actually, W, uh, that's, that's I, negative 2 times I. Let me erase that. Okay, minus 2 times 0, comma, 1. So we end up with uh, negative, putting the negative in, inside here, we get negative 1, comma, 0 minus, we take 2 times 0, 0, comma, 2, right? And then if we just subtract these, negative 1, negative 1 minus 0 is negative 1, and 0 minus 2 is negative 2. So that is our vector um, in component form, vector w. And just to make a little sketch, we're getting negative 1, comma, negative 2. So we're right here. We have That's negative 1, comma, 2, and that's vector w. And really, we need to make of this a reference uh, triangle. Our adjacent is equal to negative 1. Our opposite equals negative 2. Our hypotenuse is equal to Okay, we got adjacent, and one squared, it's negative two squared. So we got square root of one plus four equals square root of five. So this is square root of five, our hypotenuse. Okay, our uh, unit vector for W put unit vector for W is going to be cosine comma sine. So our cosine is adjacent, which is negative 1, over square root of 5, comma, and our sine is two down here, negative two. Negative two over square root of five. So this constitutes our unit vector for W. And this vector
has a magnitude of 1 and is in the same direction as the original vector w. And just a short piece of that. Next, problem 25. Uh, find the unit vector in the direction of the given vector. Write your answer in A, component form, and B is a linear combination of the standard unit vectors i and j. All right. Uh, that's, we have this vector here, 2, comma 1. So I'm going to put 2, comma 1. So that's going to be right here. All right, so a vector. OK, that's going to be 2, comma 1. We make a reference triangle by dropping from the point down to the x-axis. Our opposite is our y-coordinate, which is 1. Our adjacent is our x-coordinate, which is 2. And our hypotenuse is the same thing we've done earlier. We got adjacent squared plus opposite squared. And we're going to get square root of 5. I think that's what we got for 23. OK. So uh, in component form, we have adjacent. So cosine adjacent over hypotenuse. And then our y value is going to be opposite over hypotenuse. And um, now in standard unit vector form, It's just going to be a scalar. So we're going to have 2 over square root of 5 i plus 1 over square root of 5 times the standard unit vector j. And these will be our answers, both in component form and in standard unit vector form. Okay, that's problem 25. Problem 27. We have uh, u equals negative 4 comma negative 5. And we'll just make a sketch of this. We're going to be down here, I believe, in quadrant 3. So you go negative 4, negative 4, negative 3, negative 4, comma negative 5, 2, 3, Four, five. So right here, u is this vector right here. There is the vector, and it comes to point. That point here is negative four, comma negative five. And to find a reference triangle, we just drop, in this case, rays vertical line segment to the x-axis. Our adjacent side is going to be our x-coordinate, which is negative 4. Our opposite side is going to be negative 5. And our hypotenuse, right over here, hypotenuse is equal to negative 4 adjacent squared plus 5 squared which equals square root of 16 plus 25 which equals square root of 41. 
So hypotenuse equals square root of 41. And so standard unit vector form hold on, standard unit vector form it's going to be we're going to have our cosine which is negative 4 over square root of 41 and our next coordinate here is going to be opposites negative 5 our sine negative 5 over square root of 41 so it's just simple your your cosine is your standard unit Vector cosine and sine, cosine, comma, sine, that's going to be your standard unit vector. And an i and j, okay, in, okay, next, in standard unit vector form, we have negative 4 over square root of 41 i i minus 5 over square root of 41 j so standard unit vector form boxed in here and standard unit vector form with i and j down here so that's the odd number problems worked out. Good luck on the even number problems. And I thank you for viewing.